today we're salvaging some of that solid wood. We're building a twist to our new day bed. So a few weeks ago, I made a sofa day bed out of an old antique desk and vintage room divider. If you would like to see that video, I'll put a link on the description below. So the story here is I had a few pieces of offcuts from that project. And because this was really nice solid wood, I wanted to do something with the offcuts rather than just putting it aside for another project. I decided to make a pull-out table where we can put drinks and snacks while we watch movies with the kids. I started out by cutting the pieces of wood into standard 1 and 1 fourth inch thick pieces. You'll notice that my blade is burning the wood. This was before I changed the blade on my circular saw. I also did a video on how to change your blade on a circular saw and I'll put a link in the description below but I'm sure there are tons of videos on how to do this already and it's fairly simple. So anyway, here I'm just cutting strips of wood, trying my best to make sure that I keep the pieces one and one fourth inches thick and about a foot long. I'm not too concerned about the width at this point because I'm anyway going to glue these pieces together to make a wider piece. Here's mistake number one. Always sand or cut out the finished edges of the pieces you're trying to glue together. Otherwise, the glue won't hold because you're basically trying to glue two finishes together, which is what I did here, as opposed to gluing the wood together. Unfortunately, I figured this out much later in the project. In fact, I realized mistake number two, which is the next part, before discovering the consequences of this mistake. Basically, sections of the board fell off while I was trying to plane it. It was pretty frustrating and I should have known better but I guess I was just being lazy. Here's mistake number two. I miscalculated the width of the slot on the daybed and did not use enough pieces to make a wide enough board. The lesson here is measure twice and in my case it should be five or six times and cut once. So because I was short, I started to cut some more pieces from the offcuts and proceeded to do what I did the last time all over again. By this time though, I had already changed my blade and I'm very happy to see that my wood is no longer burning. Remember how I said I didn't realize mistake number one until after mistake number two? Well. This is me gluing the extension to the boards, thinking that after I do this part, I can proceed to the next step. Little did I know, it was at this point when the board decided to fall apart. So I pulled apart all the joints with a finished edge on it, and I removed the finished edge with the bandsaw blade. I mean with the table saw blade. It took some time to finish that part, but once I did, I glued it all back together and the next step was to plane the entire board to the right thickness and to the right length. I finished the surface off with some sandpaper, started at 80 and ended at 240. So I went from 80, 120 to 240. Here I'm drilling holes for dowels to serve as stoppers on the shelf. I did not glue these on until they were already slipped into the daybed. I wasn't able to take a video of that strip of wood that I glued at the end, but I wanted to add some strength to it, so I screwed it down and countersunk the screws to give it a nice flat finish. So the last part is really to just Finish it with some wax, and that's it. Actually, you're you're basically done after you you finish it with some wax. And this is the part I enjoy the most, and it's what I share on on Facebook and Instagram all the time. 